His icebreaker was amazing indeed. So, <laughs> you put it in there. <laughs> 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 of course, we expect the same for the speech number two. Let's welcome Thomas. Thank you. is good or better than your icebreaker. It was fantastic. One thing, as I looked through the manual, I could tell you read the manual before you prepared your speech. Now, I often don't do that. And I, I just look at the general over, the general deal, the objectives, without really looking at it. But you actually looked at it and you followed it very well. Excellent. Actually, I'm going to learn from you. I think that's a good idea. The more I become a DTM, I'm going to learn to do that, I'm sure. The speech value. It says, was it interesting and meaningful to the audience? Okay, how many in here are runners? Was it meaningful to you, runners? Absolutely. I'm a pseudo runner. I haven't really run much, but I'm a pseudo runner. I'm, I'm not convinced, okay? I, I like my shoes and I like the support, especially on long distances. But actually, even if you don't run, this was interesting because it wasn't just about running, it was about going barefoot. So even though it's specifically for running, it was really for everybody. I thought it was very, very interesting. Not, again, I'm not convinced, but it was very interesting. Obviously, you've prepared because you live it. Not live it, live it. And you inculcated us so well about the benefits of being barefoot. You were supposed to have a good opening body and conclusion. And you did. Like I said, you obviously read this. The outline... It was topical. There are a lot of things listed about how the outline can be. Yours was topical. Excellent. Your opening. I have a secret. And his wife was like, what is it? <laughs> yeah. That's we were all kind of like, huh? But she was like, what? <laughs> it was interesting. It got people's attention, especially one of us in here. Maybe a couple more as well. The body was fantastic. It was about testimony, giving people statistics, a testimony, examples, <laughs> so on and so forth. And it was really cool because you said, well, first I was curious about it because you read something or whatever. And then the physical benefits and then the mental benefits. Super, super nice flow. Good organization. Your conclusion could have been a little bit stronger, because I think the way you started it, you said, if you're willing to accept it, and I was already like, I'm not accepting it, <laughs> so, but I like shoes, um, but, thank you. I'm not accepting it, but you did ask that question, which is kind of a cool way, you're not forcing anybody to accept it, but it did make people think, but it could have been a little bit stronger as far as the conclusion. I love it when you said at the end, the grass between your toes and the wind on your feet. That was very, very creative. The transitions were great as well. Things you could have improved, you were doing this a little bit, holding your hands together, kind of like this. You can let go of that. Have you ever run in a race and gotten a medal? Uh, yeah, I have. Because mm -hmm. you were talking about the silver dollar, it would have been good to bring the medal. That would have been cool. Yes. Very practical. The red light's on. Thank you so much. Great job. <laughs>